And God is saying, if you are messing around like that, you are a married man here, a married woman, and you are messing around, he's coming with his reward. And his reward is shame. Please, if you've never believed the grace of God on my life, take me for one minute as a prophet. I'm bringing you, I'm bringing you a prophetic word from God. That this is the season of reward. You can't afford to play games. I said this, and this is not just a word for the OSC, it's for the body of Christ. Mark my word, watch it. Men of God who have used God's altar, God's name to plunder God's people, to perpetuate evil. I mean, because of the position I occupy in the body of Christ, I get to hear things. I've heard people call me and share the most heinous of stuff that so-called men of God do. And I weep. Things that if I share on social media, there will be fire. God is saying he's coming with his reward. He that heard and hear, let him hear. So, he's not just pleasant reward. God is not mocked. This is the season of reward. Put your house in order. I had to share that bit. It's time to clean the house. It's time to say, Lord, I'm going to live right. You are a just God. We see, we said he's a just God. He won't bend the rule for you. And we shared so many times on the fear of God. The fear of God is the awareness of the holiness of God. It's the awareness that God is a loving father, but he's also a consuming fire. And that he sees. That I can't hide this thing. That when he's ready, he will, he will show forth. And this is the season prophetically. Not just to the old seeds, but to the body of Christ. That God is coming with reward. Lift your hands to heaven. Now, if you fall into the category of those men I spoke about, you have to see me, find a way to see me today. I held a, a Zoom thing for, some, for a married man and I shared it. If you are here, you are a married man and you are in, a, in an ungodly relationship, messing around. Now, why can I talk like this? Not out of self-righteousness, but because by God's grace, God has kept me. I want to say that to encourage you because there's not many examples in the body of Christ. I'm not saying this to boast. I boast in the grace of God. I'm saying this to the glory of God. Since I started dating my wife, I've never pecked a lady once. And let me tell you, I sleep around hotel rooms at, across the world. But I just made up my mind. Said, Father, give me the grace. I don't want to be a fake pastor. I don't want to preach something I'm not living. I don't want to come here and there are girls here and I'm messing around with I said, I want to be able to tell my people the truth. <laughs> to him. So, why did I say that? It is possible. Say it's possible. Don't let them tell you all pastors are the same. All pastors are not the same. Now, let me give you an example. If I wanted to rake money from Hallelujah Challenge, do you know what I'll make? All I need is a link. Give. Now, every night from around the world, 50, 60, 70,000 people join. Some are wealthy people. Practically begging to give. Why not if I put an account number? No, I just, I made up my mind a long time ago that the things they abuse other pastors with, they won't, you won't abuse me. When they're abusing me, you know what they say? What's wrong with you? You are too, you know, it's, it's money I want to give you now. They abuse me because I don't want to take. It's because I made up my mind. Can somebody make up their mind tonight that I'm going to be a man after God's heart? That I'm going to live right. Lift your hands. There's a reward for that. There's a reward. You see, when, when we take that horn and blow and we sing a song, see what the Lord has done. Just four lines. What's in that line? What's in four lines? You just sing it and then the world is singing it. That's a reward. Is a reward saying I'm going to reward you with my presence. I'm going to reward you when you blow that things will happen. It's the reward. Blessed are the pure in the heart, for they shall see. That see is for they shall obtain God, for He will honor them with His presence. You show up and He shows up. 
God wants to reward you with his presence. He wants to put grace on you. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I'm ready to sow good seeds. I'm ready. And if you are here, I'm going to make this call. You know you've sown some bad seeds. Some bad seeds. You want to say, Lord, by privilege of grace, I want those seeds uprooted so that I don't get the reward for them. Rush out now. Kneel that in front of me. I want to speak a word and uproot everything my heavenly father did not plan. I'm not going to waste time. Two calls. I have to rush. You know you've sown some seeds that if they are rewarded, there will be a massive backlash. Come out here. Just kneel down. Just come and kneel before the altar. And if you're here, you're not born again. God is not your Lord. God is not your boss. You want to say, Pastor Nat, I want to surrender my life to you. Please come into my life. I want to be born again. Wherever you are, just wave at me. Now, I'm going to make that first call again. You've sown some bad seeds. You've, you've, you've lived in a, in a very compromising way as a believer. And I've shared about the season of reward. And you know that if you were to, to, to release his reward for that thing, that you will be burnt. Come out here. There's grace now. There's grace now. I want to uproot it by, by my by the privileged position I have as a priest. So that you don't reap. Now, if you want to be born again, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Pastor Nathaniel, I want to give my life to Christ. Please wave, wave, wave. Don't be ashamed. Now, if you've been living compromisingly a double life, if you, if you like, take what I'm saying, you know, lightly. You will know that God called me. You will know that the word of the Lord came to you.